Hi. Doyle obviously wants to be in the video. I don't, what are you doing? It's a weird dog. Can I help you? Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am gonna be talking about searching for a home. I figured I would do this vlog style because I'm actually going on my first showing today for looking at a home. I have been diligently looking for a home since the 1st of January and it is now the first part of February. I haven't found really anything that I really, really like that I want to invest money in. So I think some of the challenges are that I'm looking for something that is in a certain price range and I'm looking for a specific kind of property. And I know I've kind of alluded to this in a couple of videos and a lot of people have asked, so I figured I have a little bit of time before my showing starts to talk about what I am looking for. I have to switch hands because my arm is already tired. Doyle! Life with a dog, you guys. Life with a dog. I have a few stipulations that I'm looking for in a property. First one being it needs to be three bedrooms. The reason why is because I need a bedroom. My office for now, my business needs a bedroom. Um, so I'm gonna do all my shooting in there. I'm gonna keep all of my planner supplies in there. I'm gonna keep all my video and audio equipment. Like everything's gonna be in there. And then the third bedroom is for a possible renter. Um, I have always wanted to do that to kind of help uh, stimulate my income as well as pay off my mortgage early. So obviously I'm gonna be getting a property that I can afford singularly by myself. However, um, with that renter, that will allow me to pay off my mortgage early or to have a really large emergency fund if something were to happen with the house, if I need to do home improvements, like things like that. So it's been a while since I've vlogged, so my like arms aren't like, <laughs> they're hurting already. Those are kind of the main stipulations I'm looking for with like size wise. And I'd like to have a house that's about like 1600 square feet or larger. Um, so those are my like basic stipulations when we move into actually what i want versus what i need um oh and by the way a uh, two-car garage because i want to have a space for myself and a space for a renter or another person also i want a white kitchen and when i mean white kitchen i just mean the cabinetry i want an all white cabinetry kitchen as well as all white baseboards and trim and white doors I know that sounds really crazy, but I work for a home remodeler for like my main job. So I'm kind of in the instruction, instruction? I'm in the construction field. So I already kind of know how much that would be to change all that out. And what the realtor tells you is never the price of what it really is. So I've decided that that's a huge stipulation because I don't want to do work. And I understand I work for a remodeler. I could do it, my, not myself, but you know, I could have it done. I don't wanna do that. I just really don't wanna live in a construction zone. That's just not what I wanna do. Um, if I found a great deal in a great neighborhood and I could take the rest of that money um, that I was gonna spend anyways and put it towards a renovation that would renovate everything to my liking, then yeah, we could have a conversation, but I haven't even found anything like that either. So as I said, I have only found this one property so far that I've kind of liked. I did find one other it was actually a townhome and I'm not usually like a huge fan of townhomes mainly because sorry the angle is funny um, mainly because I want to be able to fence in a yard um, I have a dog he's right there hey Doyle yep that guy I've got that guy and I want to make sure that I can have a fenced-in yard. Well, this townhome, um, I can't remember what city it was in, had already like a fenced-in backyard, which was really cool. So that was definitely one that was on my radar. Beyond that, I really am not a fan of townhomes, but I mean, I don't want to rule anything out. That's the only other one that I saw, but unfortunately it was already under contract by the time I saw it online. So anyway, um, I never actually went to go see that. And I, the listing is still up, even though it's like sold. It's so weird. Like things last on the internet for like way too long, but this house I saw that's actually not too far away from where I'm currently living in Cambridge. Um, and I'm kind of looking in like a big radius. Like I'm not looking at a specific city or a specific uh, county or a specific school district. Like I don't have to worry about those things because it's just me. And I mean, I care where I live, but I don't have to deal with like kids in school staying in the same school or like dealing with 
you know, work and things like that of like, oh, well, I have to be this far away from work or whatever. Um, I've lived all the way out here and I drive about, I think it takes me about 40 to 55 minutes every day getting to work. I know it's gonna sound crazy, but like I really don't mind the drive. It's really not that bad. I've come to realize you can obviously get a lot more bang for your buck a little bit further out. So that is kind of where I'm looking. Obviously, if I find a great deal closer to the city, then that's great too, but I'm really not ruling anything out at this point. So that's kind of what I'm looking for when I'm looking for homes is three bedrooms. Oh, although also, by the way, two bathrooms. Um, I don't care if it's a one and three quarter bath, at least if that second bathroom has to have a shower um, because I don't want to share a, like, I, don't, I wouldn't want to ask a renter to share a bathroom with me um, unless we were like really good friends or something. But um, I'd like to have them have their own space if possible. Um, so those are kind of my you know, stipulations. So three bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, and then one with obviously a shower or bathtub, doesn't matter, it could be two full baths. Obviously kitchen, you know, little kitchen area uh, for eating, like a dining nook, whatever. It doesn't have to be a dining room, like those are a little bit dated nowadays. I mean, some larger homes have them, but it's really hard to find them nowadays and I don't really even want one, honestly. Uh, obviously a living space and laundry room and things like that. I would love an attached garage, but that's not a have to, um, but then two car garage for sure. Sure. And actually the property I'm going to see today has a little kitchenette downstairs um, in Minnesota. Pretty much every single home here has basements um, just because we have basements and it's like a full living area and a little kitchenette that could be possibly turned into like a renter's suite and it could maybe have their own entryway. I'm not sure like how it's all laid out but I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. I'm actually waiting to hear back from my realtor right now. He is really ill, I think he has the flu, and actually we're pretty good friends. So the guy that actually owns the property that I'm gonna go see today is also the real estate agent that is doing the, you know, the other side of the selling of the property. So it's totally vacant, nobody lives there, so he's totally fine if I come and take a look on my own. Um, but Chris, my real estate agent, is talking to the other owner slash real estate agent to see if it's okay if I post part of his property on the internet. Um, I kind of told him what I do for part of my living and all of that. And I just said, really, I'm just gonna give my opinions on what I like, uh, what I don't like, and then what suits my needs. And it's really just like from my, you know, viewpoint. And, uh, you know, I'm not gonna knock the property. I'm not gonna, you know, divulge personal information. I'm not gonna give out like the address or the lockbox code or anything like that. So I think that's gonna be okay to share with you guys. So all right, this video is already getting really long and I am going to close it out for right this second, but I will see you guys in just a couple of minutes because I will be at the property. All right, so I am in the front entryway of this home and you go up or you go down. Let me spin around really quick. And this is the front entrance it's actually a really high ceiling. Turn the light on. So let's go upstairs. It's got nice new carpeting, very like very thick. Let's check it out. All right. Very open. Love the floor. It's not real hardwood, but that's okay. I like the consistency. And then the kitchen. I don't know where the light is. Oh, here it is. All right, so here is the kitchen. Looks like pretty much all brand new appliances as well, which is nice. Um, the cabinets were just painted like a white. They're not like in enamel, so there's like a little bit of like texture to them. But all nice new Frigidaire appliances. Does this have a, oh yep, there is a dishwasher. Sometimes there's not a dishwasher, so that's nice. And then just like basic laminate countertops, but definitely enough cabinet space, I think. And there's a light up above here. This is the view out, which is kind of cool. It's got a really big deck. I'll show you that in a second. Um, Backsplash is okay. Ooh, wow, there's like dust all over the damn thing. But yeah, the backsplash is okay. Not my favorite, but whatever. And then the sink. 
that's good. It's got a little soap dispenser as well. Could work. And then over here, there's like a little, I don't know, like a little built-in thing over here. You can plug things in, which is kind of nice. And just more cabinet space. And then there's a two-tiered, it's like an, almost an island, but there's these kind of pillars in the way that don't really make it an island. Um, must be like a load-bearing wall or something. But then you could put like little bar stools right here if you wanted. Um, but over here you could fit like your dining, like in like a small dining table over here pretty easily. And then this would be way more than enough room for a sectional or something to that nature in here. So it'll be a nice main living area. All right, so let's go outside. I like that there's a really big window right here too, which would be really nice. So this is the deck. It needs to be like repainted, but beyond that, like some of the paint is kind of chipping up, but that's all right. But yeah, this is a good size backyard. I don't think it's too big and I don't think it's too small. Um, good for the dog. Um, over here is the detached garage. So it's a two car garage, but then you get in through here and then you have to go in this way or you can come up over here, but I'd have to like fence in between the garage and the house for the dog over here as well as on the other side but it's all completely chain link fence over here and then it kind of stops like right there so i'd have to make like a little l right here for the dog there's the air conditioning unit um and then there's stuff for out here as well this looks like it's a little like planter box or something down here but yeah this is a really big big tree freaking huge um, but yeah, it, this space is actually really, really nice out here. Way big enough for like a patio table and um, like a grill and stuff. Really nice. It's got a little light out here too. All right, let's go back in. So let's keep going on the main floor. And this is the view from down. So here's the hallway. And then there is the air conditioning. And then this, I don't know what it is. We'll see. Oh, cool. Um, oh, I think this is taking the place of like your coat closet area for a coat closet. It's very deep, like really, really deep. Um, that's kind of cool. You could fit lots of good stuff in there. And then all the doors and trim are the same where they're like just painted over. They're not like the enameled. Okay. Oh, there's a fan. Perfect. All right, this is the first bathroom. And it's got some lighting, a basic mirror, basic vanity, and then it's got the drawers, which I love. I love a good drawer. Nice. A little toilet. And that's in a weird place. It should be up a whole lot higher, but whatever. And then, wow, this is like a really, really shallow tub, but that's all right. And then just like a really basic, um, tile but it looks also like they just painted over this one too but this isn't actually like a shower enclosure they like just sealed it and painted it but and then um there's a window in here that overlooks into the backyard oh and they put a little fixture over here as well that's nice oh there's also a little door oh cool well this is a really generous linen closet um, it goes back pretty far over there and over here too. That's really cool. And then over in the corner, there's a couple more doors. Let's go into this one, see what this is. Oh, another little linen closet. Well, there's lots of storage here. Lots and lots of storage. I could like use this closet for all my, all my planning shiz. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I think this is the smaller of the two bedrooms. Yeah, this looks like it's the smaller of the two bedrooms. Really nice paint color. Just like a really basic gray. And then the closet is just like a regular bifold closet. And then, wow, these like paint drips are like massive on this thing, but whatever. Again, a little bit bigger than it seems. And this has got this funny little like bump out here. Like it's got a funny little bump out. Okay, that's that bedroom. All right, this would probably be the master. This seems a whole lot bigger than the other room. And then, um, let's see this closet. Okay, yeah, this closet's a lot bigger as well. 
Um, yeah, this closet's really nice too. And it's got like a partial over there, so if you wanna like hang long things. And this overlooks the front. So let's go downstairs now. All right, so let's take a walk downstairs. And I'm actually really excited about the basement because, ooh, I like that there's an extra door right here. Um, there's like a little kitchenette down here, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's go to the right. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a really generous bath, or not bathroom. This is a really generous sized bedroom. Wow, it's almost, I think it might be even bigger than the master actually. Um, very cool. This is really big. This outlooks to the front of the home. Wow, this is huge. And then this is really, really big. Two rails, and then it's like super deep, like, can fit my whole body in here like no problem wow this is really big this would be like really generous for a renter okay also that same kind of taupey gray color which is kind of consistent through the home i really like that um okay so over here is all right so this would be where the washer and dryer would go and outlooks towards the back of the home and then you've got like your utility sink and there's a couple little like cabinets and stuff which I'm not even gonna look in because that doesn't matter but I like that there's a door here so you can kind of keep it quiet if you need to and then all right so there's the front door just for remembering and you walk down and then there is actually the second bedroom bedroom bathroom I'm getting myself confused wow this bathroom is like way nicer than upstairs I might need to live down here instead hi guys um, so this is the bedroom, bedroom, wow. So this is the bathroom downstairs. Um, this is all brand new, looks like. Really nice light fixture, just a basic mirror. And then the vanity um, has like a little door and then two drawers, which is nice. And then just like a nice white top, little fixture here. And then toilet, a little rail. And then also some storage, it looks like. Yeah, this is really nice. And this bathroom's a whole lot bigger than the one upstairs. And then I like the, um, I like this a lot better, like the um, exterior, not exterior, like the surround a whole lot better. And then this is all brand new. But yeah, and the flooring is really consistent too, which I like. All right, so we walk out of there. And then underneath the stairs it's just a little crawl space great for storage and then over here is what i'm really excited about this is like a whole nother living area possibly for a renter and then over here is a kitchen look at that oh gosh it's not focusing there we go it's a kitchen um it's a smaller kitchen but it is a kitchen nonetheless so yeah but this is kind of cool i kind of like this um, I don't like that there's carpet right here, but beyond that, that's not too bad. And you can fit like a pretty generous sized dining table over here, as well as a sectional and coffee table and all that. So this actually would be really, really cool. Um, I'm not sure of the area, I need to do a little bit more research, but beyond that, I think I like this. This is really cool. Well, hello, we meet again. I actually just filmed a video. Actually, I filmed two, yeah, two videos while sitting here. But I went to my house thing. Um, I'm not, like, vlogging anymore. It's all up on the tripod right now, and there's still a little battery left, so we're gonna go with it. So that was about a couple of hours ago. I still haven't talked to my parents about it. I mean, I'm really trying to seek their counsel with some of these decisions because I don't really have anybody else in my life that's purchased a home that I really want to talk to this stuff of, like talk to them about. I'm waiting for them to call me back. They were in the middle of something when I called and I figured eh I'll just film some videos and then we'll talk later. All in all my thoughts on the house. Um, obviously you guys just saw portions of the house. I think it's a wonderful wonderful setup. I love the interior. Um, I'm not so big on them just painting over trim and things like that but for the price of the house and the size of the house I kind of expected that for it to not be like brand brand new and that's okay however my issue isn't really with the house it's with the location of the home it's on a really busy road 
and it's actually farther away from Cambridge than where I'm looking even though it's really not it's just tucked really far back so like miles wise it's actually farther away from like my employer than where I'm currently living that's one little negative but I could get over that however it's like I said it's on a really busy road and I like the thing is I just couldn't imagine like walking a dog down that big road you know what I mean? I feel like if I'm in the suburbs, I want to be in the suburbs. Like, I want to be in a neighborhood. Um, it doesn't have to be a neighborhood that has, like, a sidewalk or anything. It's just somewhere I can be comfortable, like, walking my dog or taking a walk or a jog myself or something. And I feel like I might get hit by a car when I'm walking my dog. And I don't know if that's the best place for me. Like I said, I absolutely adore the setup. I think the setup is great, especially for kind of what I'm looking for. But I think I'm going to pass on this house. Um, it might be a while until I actually look at another house because like I said previously, like I've been looking for quite a while and I just haven't found anything that I really, really like. So I will keep updating you guys kind of randomly. Um, I might do like my regular dedicated video might be like me looking for houses or I might just pop them in as extra videos like this one is today. So, um, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated as to like what my thoughts were kind of after the fact and everything. I think it's a great value, but unfortunately it's, it's really all about the location. And if it's not a good location, I can't do anything about that. But you know, if like the paint drips and stuff like that were really bothering me, like I could figure that out. Um, cause I kind of showed that in one of the little clips. Um, if it came out, I don't know if it did cause I haven't actually watched the footage back yet. Um, but I did kind of a sloppy job on some of the like painting of some doors and stuff, but I could get over that cause I could change that but unfortunately I can't change the location so um, just wanted to give you a little check-in as to like what my thoughts were kind of afterwards and um, I'm going to keep looking and I will keep you guys updated but um, I'm gonna let you guys go for now so thanks for hanging out with me for a little part of your day if you like these kind of house hunting videos let me know this is my first one I've ever done so um, if you like this process make sure to give it a thumbs up and um, let me know in the comments down below too because um, I don't know if this is like boring for you guys or if you guys are really interested in this process um, also if you want to know more details about anything just post a little comment and maybe like the next house hunting video I do, I will address some of the questions then just to make it a little bit more cohesive. So I guess that is it for me today and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!